everybody. This is Kelly Williams with The Kelly Williams Show in Bay Area Houston Magazine. And it's time for The Kelly Williams Show. Yay! Yeah! All right! I'm so excited because this is part one of my two-part series of interviews with the newly crowned Miss Texas USA 2022. I am sitting down today with Miss Texas USA, Arbany Gabriel. Hey, Arbany. Hello, Miss <gasps> Kelly. I am so excited to be here with you, and I want to find out a little bit more about you and tell our viewers who is Miss Texas USA 2022. Um, okay, so where are you from originally? I am from Missouri City, which is just right si outside of Houston, born and raised in Houston. I love my city so much, and I'm really looking forward to representing Houston and Texas at Miss USA. Absolutely. Um, what were you doing job-wise before you got crowned Miss Texas USA? Well, I was in the fashion design industry. I was working here at Magpies and Peacocks. This is a nonprofit design house in the east side of Houston. And here we're very focused on sustainability in the fashion industry. So all the fabrics that you see in this warehouse have been donated from people that no longer want them or maybe a store can't sell it for whatever reason. And we will recycle it and make new pieces. So I was spending a lot of time working here as well as working on my personal fashion brand, Arbany Nola. Yeah, Arbany Nola, if you're not following it yet, you need to go follow her. It's amazing. <laughs> and just to show you, I'm actually wearing one of her cute little t-shirts that she sells on Arbany Nola, her website. Um, just precious. And this is just so you. I just, I just love this. Um, Arbany, you know, I want to I wanna go back a little bit. I first met you, I remember very specifically, a couple of years ago mm -hmm. when I met you at an Art of Coffee in Kima. And we were talking because you were entering the Miss Kima USA pageant. And I rem we, we visited about your goals and why you wanted to do pageants and how you make your own clothes. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this young lady is amazing. That was my first thought of you. But I remember thinking, she's a little quiet. Yes. <laughs> but she's got this huge personality and she's so talented. So tell everybody, let, let's go through your pageant journey okay. for everybody because it's an inspiration for so many young women, I'll tell you. Um, you were first runner up at Kima USA. Yes. Then you went where? I went and competed at Miss Houston USA a couple months later. Yes. And I received first runner up again. First runner up again. <laughs> and then you did compete at Miss Texas USA. Yes. And what happened? I got first runner up again. <laughs> first runner up again. So three first runner ups. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I'll tell you, um, is hard of work and, and the time you take to train and do things for pageants, it's, it's hard. It's tough yes. when you get first runner up and you're thinking, what could I have done better? Mm -hmm. um, and so getting three first runner ups, that is a, that's a tough comeback for a lot of people. And, and some people would quit, but you did not. So I want to know, um, what was the difference between last year and this year as you competed for Miss Texas USA 2022? What do you think you did differently this time that put that crown on your head? Well, after Miss Texas last year, when I got first runner up, you sit back and you evaluate, what can I do better? Or yeah. it's, l losing or rejection is an opportunity really to see what are my weaknesses are and there's always room for improvement so for me it was i needed to improve on my interview much more because interview is everything the way you communicate and tell people what you're doing and what you're passionate about and your story is the number one thing in pageants and in life so i focused really hard on that because i felt like i had a very strong story of my fat my passion for fashion design but i needed to articulate it and communicate it with the judges so they know so i would say that's the number one thing i focused on and through that work, I gained so much confidence in being able to display myself yeah. and tell the judges, as well as being sure of my decisions. My coaches guided me and they helped me formulate my own opinions about things. And so I went into mm -hmm. Miss Texas 2022 so sure of who I am, so confident, knowing that I worked hard in every single category. And I said it was night and day the way I felt between last year and this year. Well, and I told you when, when, when we got here today, one thing that I noticed about you on that Texas stage, you, you were a completely transformed young lady on stage. 
And, um, and I just, um, I, I think that that is what, you know, everybody was looking at when you were walking out on that stage. There was, it was felt like night and day watching you. And I was so proud of you because you could feel your energy, your confidence, and everything that you'd worked so hard for coming off of that stage. And that's what it's supposed to be like mm -hmm. while you're having a really good time. Yes. You know, while you're having a really, really good time. So, so was becoming Miss Texas USA ever a dream of yours? I would say my real dream was, is, actually was, it yeah. still is, and I'm working on it, is to be a fashion designer in the industry, yeah. but also pushing the fashion industry in a sustainable and ethical way. I just want fashion to be a force for good. And being Miss Texas USA, I saw as a really great opportunity for a stepping stone to that dream, as well as to be able to display all over Texas my message and inspire people. Absolutely, and, and I think you're doing that. You know, the way I describe you to people is that you work every day to make a positive difference in the world, and that's how I look at what you do, especially here at Magpies and Peacocks. I, think, I just think it's amazing. Okay, so was your family always supportive of you competing? Yes, I would say I'm very blessed with my parents always being supportive. It excites them. They're always front row in the crowd. I have family from California that has flown in. I have family in Australia, in the Philippines that are always contacting me. So I'm very grateful for all the support from my family. That's wonderful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it, it really is. It's everything to have support. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so going back to that crowning moment, what do you remember? about being crowned that night at Miss Texas USA? I would just say the feeling was pure <laughs> bliss. It was surreal. I was excited. It was just an amazing, you just feel a feeling, you just feel like you're on top of the world. Everything that, every feeling of happiness or any word under that category of happy, that is what I was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so excited for you. Okay, so your gown was stunning. Thank you. So now you had mentioned who, where, where did you get that gown from? How did you choose that gown? So that gown is from an amazing Filipino designer, Rian Fernandez. Wow. He has his studio in the Philippines and his craft is exceptional. I wanted to go with his gown because his talent is impeccable and also I wanted to support his craft. Yeah, I love that. Well, from one designer to another, I know you appreciate all his hard work. Yes. It was stunning <laughs> on you, it was, it was amazing. Um, okay, so really quickly, I, I want um, the camera to look around. All of these things, she, th these are some of Arbany's designs that you're seeing right yes. here, that you made by hand, right here. Um, it's, they're incredible. What joy does it give you to be able to make your own clothing? I will say, when I finish a piece, I'm like, Woo, it's finally done, <laughs> like two weeks later or however many hours two later. Two weeks, I'm sorry, it would take me a year to make something like this. And it wouldn't look like this. <laughs> hey, I can teach you. I don't know you. if anybody would fit in. <laughs> I can teach I, you. I would love that. I want to take some of your classes. We're going to yes, talk about that. But, but I mean, it's, it's that proud feeling that, okay, I, I worked through the kinks, I worked through the problems, I maybe had to remake it, but once it's done, I get to put it on and do a photo shoot with it or wear it to an event, and it's a really great feeling. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can't imagine that feeling, so I, I would <laughs> love to know that feeling. Well, hey, you know what, I'm going to tell you something. In, in junior high or high school, I actually did make my own shirt, and it had ruffles okay. and everything. It was really good, and I saved it until like a... 10 years ago, I can't find it. But I remember thinking, look what I made. I did really good. You're gonna so have thought, to find that. <laughs> I am gonna have to find it and I'll show you. But I would, um, I, I love the creativity and the freedom that you have when you're able to make your own clothes. Absolutely. It's, there's no rules. Mm -hmm. I like no rules, you know that. <laughs> Kelly Williams Same here. No rules. That's right, that's right, I love it. Okay, so um, I, I wanna know, what are you doing to compete and get ready to compete for Miss USA coming up? Well, it's training every day in yeah. one way or another. Yeah. So as a designer, I'm making some of my pieces. I'm working on them in my studio. It's exciting. As well as maintaining the body and working out, eating healthy. I eat the same thing every day. I have a very strict plan. It's pretty <laughs> boring, but um, it gets the job done. And it's all part of the bigger picture. And I want to say I'm I'm doing interview training. That is so important. And Very. just really protecting that mindset and keeping yeah. it fresh and confident. Yeah, I love that. I love that. We're going to talk a little bit more about your food and beauty tips in just a little bit. We're going to get some of those tips from okay. our name is Texas USA. 
Um, okay, what, how do you think being crowned Miss Texas USA has, has changed your life so far? I think it's just opened up a world of possibilities in a bigger network and yeah. it's amplified what I'm already doing in my mm -hmm. message to inspire people to go after their unique craft or their unique greatness or find their unique greatness. So being Miss Texas USA, it gives me the opportunity to do more workshops, more sewing workshops or painting workshops. So I'll visit schools and do a class because I think life is all about giving people opportunities. Absolutely. It helps them find what is special inside them. So I'm amplifying my voice through that. I love that. <laughs> That's what everybody should be doing, helping others yes. to help themselves and teaching what we, the gifts that we have, teach them to others. Yes. Um, what do you think one of your best pieces of advice would be for young women? Because you now have become a, an even bigger role model for so many young women, um, not even just in Texas, but all over the country. What, what advice would you give them? I think it's a very simple statement, which is believe in yourself. I know we have heard that so many times, but I will say in my early 20s, I thought I believed in myself, but I really was not operating at my fullest potential. Yeah. I didn't believe that, okay, I could be a fashion designer or a model. I thought, okay, maybe I can get a few jobs or I can sell a few clothing, but I was limiting my beliefs that I can really take this to the next level. So I would tell young girls, do not limit yourself. You can really do anything that you put your mind to and also put your work into. Absolutely. I always believe that God does not put limits on us. We put our own limits on ourselves. Amen. And so yes. <laughs> teaching that to young women is a huge deal. Yes. Um, I just love, I love, love, love that about you. Um, okay, so what exactly is your actual platform that you are trying to promote through um, as Miss Texas USA and what you will take to Miss USA? What I'm going to take to Miss USA is what I'm already doing in Texas, which is inspiring other people to find their unique greatness. I think we all have a responsibility to, to discover what's inside of us, that what do we bring to the world? We all have something to offer. And I'm sharing my story as a passionate fashion designer, teaching my sewing classes and sharing that with people mm -hmm. to show them that I own my uniqueness. I love what I do. And you too have a greatness that you can find and you just have to apply yourself in life. So my message is continue to apply yourself in life. Take that responsibility to take charge of your life and it will really catapult you. I love that. How long have you been sewing? I have been sewing. Since like two or something? Because <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Your work is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I started in high school. So okay, well, there you go. Yeah, I started making my homecoming dresses and prom dresses and wow. it really just took off from there. Do you still have those? I still have them. I can't let go of them. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see them. That is awesome. I can pull up some photos for okay, you. We can a, share I'd them. I'd like to compare it to my shirt I made. I, would, I have to see it. We'll have to switch photos. I want to see yours too. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'd love to see those. How exciting. Yeah. That's Amazing. That's right. And you probably fit in it still. You know what? I, I just might. <laughs> I love that for you. Okay. Um, have you have you found yourself struggling with anything in your life that has really helped you to um, to become a better Miss Texas USA? You know, I think it's always a self-doubt. It yeah. wants to come back when I'm down. It always seems to make a way back into my mind. Yeah. And I think I just always have to stay on top of that. When I'm feeling low or thinking, I can't do this, or am I really fit for for this role? It's, it's a negative feeling that wants to creep its way into your mind and you just have to cut it cold turkey and say, hey, no, I have to give myself a pep talk or accomplish something and realize that that is not really who I am. That is just a bad voice in my head and shutting that bad voice down. Absolutely, I agree 100%. <laughs> okay, so you know, Miss Texas USA is, is always known as a trendsetter and, <laughs> and somebody that you want to follow and always look at what she's wearing and fun things. Um, what are three pieces of clothing you cannot live without? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Off the top of my head, a sharp blazer that goes with, it can go with your shirt and sneakers or you can dress it up. So Love it. it's mm -hmm. interchangeable. 
Another one is my favorite pair of sneakers. I love Nike Air Maxes. So I keep one in, the, in my trunk, actually, just because if I'm walking around the heels all day and I want to change into <laughs> sneakers, I have my Air Jordans or my Air Maxes. Love it. And then thirdly, I would say the shirt you're wearing, actually, which is If Not Now Then When. That is my brand shirt. And I wear that across my chest because the message love is it. to go after whatever you want to do, whether that's taking a vacation or starting a new role in your job or asking for a raise, anything. It's, if not now, then when? Now is the yeah. time. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Okay, so um, what do you think the best advice is that someone ever gave you? I always think about what my father has taught me since day one, and it's that you don't have to be the smartest person in the room to get the best grade, but it's the work you put in. You just have to outwork everybody and you can get the best grade. It's not your natural given talent, but it's what you choose to do every day to get your goal. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so you, you know, your, your pageant career has not been a, a, a very long, long, long one, but what do you think that pageants have taught you about yourself? I think self-work is so important. I think I would say pageants, you are studying yourself. Yeah. And that's something I really wasn't doing before. I was studying people that I was inspired by, motivational speakers, successful people, athletes, fashion designers, and analyzing how did they become so successful. But pageants taught me you need to analyze yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And what can you bring to the table? And I think that's life skills that everybody can apply to themselves. Absolutely, and I think pageants are a little bit misunderstood. Yes. I don't <laughs> think you are, you're not really competing against other young women. You're competing with yourself. Yes. Of what you can bring to the table. And it's such a growing experience for young people. It's just, you, you wish everybody could experience competing in a pageant because it's such a wonderful opportunity for growth. Yes. Um, I just, I, I love that. What do you think so far have been some of the most fun things you've gotten to do as Miss Texas USA? Ooh, oh my gosh, <laughs> where do I even begin? Well, actually first when I won Miss Texas USA, they threw a party for me that night and all my friends and family oh. and sponsors were right there and I had not seen them in so long because of training. I love so that. That was like an, an initial first amazing memory that I've been able to make. That is exciting. <laughs> I mean, especially happening that night mm -hmm. for you. I yeah. love that, I love that. Um, Okay, so if this is a little bit more fun question, this is kind of a top five question, Ooh. icebreaker. If we looked in your refrigerator right now, what would we find? <laughs> Unfortunately, not a lot right now. It is, I live by myself and only about 25% of my fridge is occupied and that's with green veggies, salmon, and three different hot sauces. Wow, <laughs> I love it, it all sounds good. <laughs> okay, what are, what are three important pieces of skincare advice that you that you would give our viewers that you do every day okay moisturize 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 when you wake up and you go to bed you can go to CVS or Walmart and buy a basic moisturizer but just keep that skin glowing and then always wash your face before you go to bed ladies do not go to bed with makeup I cannot do that I'll break out I don't know how my friends do it no and then the pillowcases get all messed up who wants to do with that exactly yeah that's hilarious okay so um what are three workout tips that you could give our viewers okay number one is don't be hard on yourself if you miss a day just get back the next day okay like the relationship with the gym you should not be hard on yourself you just go and get it done and keep it moving don't ever fall off two is always push yourself if you did 10 pounds one day the next day <laughs> move it up to 12 and i think three is get a workout partner to help you motivate and it makes it so much more fun when you're like oh i don't want to go to your gym absolutely <laughs> absolutely having somebody to motivate you is is a really big deal. yeah it's a huge help yeah i'll tell you Okay, so if you could have one, just one superpower, what would it be? 
<laughs> I would love to fly. Oh my gosh, I would love to be able to fly anywhere in the world. I love to travel to other countries, and I think it would be so cool to just get up and go and then land in, <laughs> yeah. in the Bahamas or the Philippines or wherever. <laughs> I love it. If you get that superpower, will you call me and I'll go with you? You can take a ride. That would yeah, be awesome. On my, I'm on my there. I'm ca there. magic carpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love it. Okay, so um, what would you tell our viewers? one thing that you have absolutely loved about your opportunity of being crowned Miss Texas USA? Oh, I would say being Miss Texas USA is a big responsibility and it holds me accountable for the things that I want to do, it, whether it's community work. It's things that's, oh, I really, people always say, or I've always said, I want to help out here and here and here, but then time goes by and maybe I don't end up doing it and as Miss Texas USA I have a great role to actually execute everything that I plan to do so actually last week we did a school drive where we handed out schools in the sunny side of Houston Love that. and that's a that's a more low income side of Houston and the kids came in they got backpacks they got to pick out their color Aww. and it was amazing and Miss Texas USA is always pushing me to look for ways that I can make an impact. Yeah, I, I love that, I love that. I, okay, so, um, Arbany, first of all, when is Miss USA? October 3rd. October 3rd, yes. so y'all will be able to watch her um, and cheer her on, I'm gonna tell you, this young lady <laughs> is going places, so you keep an eye on her. If you are not following her yet, how do they follow you on social media? Please check me out on Instagram or TikTok. It's Arbany Nola. I put a lot of my sewing and design videos, modeling videos, Miss Texas USA events on there. So I would love to connect with y'all on that way. All right. Arbany, thank you for today. Thank this you. This has been amazing. Guys, <laughs> stay tuned for my part two interview um, with Miss Texas USA, Arbany Gabriel, when we're going to find out all about one of her biggest passions and some things she's got going on. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned for that later. You can watch The Kelly Williams Show every week right here on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll see you later.